is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jay. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, today's a special one here at the home studio for me anyways. Uh, it's the first time I've ever checked out a PRS guitar. I've been playing guitar for decades and I just never really got into it. Never tried one. I thought to myself, you know, go big or go home. So here we have the PRS SE Mark Holcomb 7 Signature Series guitar. It's the seven string iteration of his uh, signature model. So if you're not familiar with Mark Holcomb, he is one of three guitar players for the band Periphery. Love their stuff, and so I've been listening to the whole catalog, you know, more recently and trying to get more and more influenced to write and play that kind of music because I really just enjoy it so much. Mark Holcomb has been a significant contributor to the last couple of albums, more so than in the past, so he's bringing a lot of his influence and his own riffs and stuff into their songwriting, and that's really great. And this guitar is really a good songwriting tool. I mean, it's just solid, you know, hardtail, seven string. It does the job and it does it well. Yeah, this guitar is really good for gent and many other genres. I know, gent is not a genre. So what are we looking at here? New for 2023, a couple of changes to the previous model, nothing major. Uh, new color here. So this one they're calling the Holcomb Blue Burst, and it is beautiful. So the burst turns into black and just continues on black in the back, which is really cool. You've got here a maple uh, neck, satin maple neck. Nice finish there. It's not lacquered, so you're not getting stuck while you're moving around. A bound ebony fingerboard, which is gorgeous. It's got the typical PRS, you know, bird inlays as usual. And then uh, another new thing for 23 was the change in pickups. So there's still Seymour Duncans, but now it's the Scourge and the Scarlet. Apparently these pickups have a little less output than the previous ones he had on uh, you know, his previous model. So I think these are more in tune with what he's been doing more recently, which is a lot of the split coil tones, which you can get there with the uh, push-pull tone pot, which is located in its own zip code. I like it. It's out of the way. No need to get to it. You kind of set it and forget it. Uh, Three-way blade switch. That's normal. Master volume, good to go. You've got a PRS uh, hard plate string through bridge, they're calling it. And it's in that beautiful Cosmo black finish, which I really love, just classy. And it matches the PRS designed uh, tuners. These are non-locking tuners, which that's one of the gripes I have. For the price point of this guitar, you kind of would like to see the locking tuners. Mark Holcomb even says on his own guitars, he swaps those out for uh, locking tuners. So that might be something for them to consider down the line. Anyhow. Uh, for a seven string guitar, this comes in a 26 and a half inch scale length, which if you've watched my previous videos on seven strings, I prefer that scale length. I don't really like the 27 inch or longer. This is perfect for me. Uh, however, this neck on this PRS here, they're calling it their thin wide neck. It is, uh, it's pretty wide and it's not that thin. So it's a substantial piece of wood here. It's, it's a thicker neck in my opinion. Not seriously thick, but not really thin either. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle a little bit toward the thicker end if you ask me. Um, it's comfortable enough. I tend to talk about necks here on this channel quite often because I feel like that's just, you know, that's where the rubber meets the road. That's where you're gonna do your, majority of your work is happening on the guitar neck. So why not, you know, discuss it in detail. The thin wide neck is nice. You know, it's very smooth. The fretwork is flawless. It's just a thicker neck. It's not something that I would personally gravitate towards uh, on a daily basis. Without further ado, let's get into some sound samples. Now, we're gonna check it out and uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about this guitar, what you think about Mark Holcomb, Periphery, all the above. Okay, so now I'm gonna do some tone samples here uh, with all the pickup positions, starting with the full humbucker. Let's go. <laughs> Now we're going to do the um, same thing again with the split coil position, engaged. And 
Now my favorite position, which is the neck humbucker in the split coil mode, uh, volume all the way up. <laughs> So what do we think? Is this a keeper? I currently have this on loan from Zounds.com. They have this guitar in stock and available if you want to check it out. I've got a link down below. And uh, you know, by using my affiliate links, it doesn't cost you a penny more and it helps out the channel. Go ahead and check out those links if you don't mind. Hit the like button and please hit the subscribe button as well. Can't thank you guys enough. Trying to get to that 5,000 subscriber mark. With your help, we can. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm out of here. See you.